So when was the last time you went to the mall? Well, it's a few and far between trip for many folks these days. Shopping malls across the world are looking for ways to attract more customers. Fox 13's Haley Hines tonight tells us how one Tampa man is hoping to be part of that solution. When shopping mall traffic slows down, Mick Oka is brought in to rev up revenue. Shopping malls uh, need to offer something more. So people uh, continue to have shopping. Very cool uh, go kart track. Through his company, US Design Lab, the Tampa man and Italian native is building entertainment facilities at shopping centers, similar to Elevate, which took over the old Sears store at Citrus Park Town Center. Arcade, more or less 200 arcade games. We have bowling, uh, a bar, a nice bar and a restaurant, and then a mini golf. We usually take uh, empty buildings and uh, that uh, spot into shopping malls, and we start to put entertainment inside of it. The Tampa Bay area is seeing the renaissance of the shopping mall, from outdoor concepts like Midtown to the redevelopment of West Shore Plaza. Shopping malls are dying a little bit, okay? They need, like, fresh. And it's not just in the U.S. We just finished two projects in Spain, one in Valencia and one in Barcelona. They are expanding an existing old shopping mall, adding new shop, and they ask us to design one floor full of entertainment. So they are trying to attract uh, different ages. It's bringing new ideas to get malls back on track with customers. They start to come here and they say, hey, well, it's a nice mall, and they walk around the facility. And so it brings, it brings some energy also. Haley Hines, Fox 13 News. Still fun. Along with entertainment facilities, some shopping malls have been building pickleball courts into their vacant spaces as well. And I think that's going to be a trend we're going to see more and more oh, yeah. going forward. Cool.